baby i knew this day would come but i didn't realize it would come this quick like I this know. fast this is crazy it was so unexpected as well so last minute like i don't even know i still can't comprehend it my brain is not piecing it's the not puzzles just together. us anymore like we have a whole other life to we're parents What's up, DK family? It's your boy Dante. <laughs> and your girl Claudia. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, subscribe right down, down below. below. If you're not new, welcome back, baby. Welcome, welcome baby. back to DK family. And today is a special day. We're going to be sharing a very important thing that's very crazy <laughs> and unexpected and so last minute. Yeah, it's added so much to our life. And, you know, our life has just become more complete day by day. Um, and it's just crazy guys I still can't comprehend it I'm speechless and it's really like making me grow as a man you know yeah definitely I, I mean I feel like a mom I'm making breakfast now cooking lunch cooking dinner I don't even know why like why am I doing all these things for? <laughs> we're hoovering every day <laughs> yeah like honestly and it's like uh. part of me feels like oh my god this is crazy like what did I do you know like I can't believe we made this decision and the other Part of me is like, okay, we got this. But it's like, it's so scary. Most of you know what we're talking about right now. But for you that don't, and for you that already know, please like this video. We want to keep growing DK family, keep growing this channel, guys. So make sure you drop a like on the video. It helps us tremendously. And I'm just going to put the video right here of the big decision we decided to do a few days ago after watching Fast and Furious 9, which was a crazy movie. So here's the video, guys. Is our new baby. Signing the papers. <laughs> Say hello to DK family. So, like Dante said, we were watching Fast and Furious. We were bored and we're like, oh, let's go to this mall. But already a few days before, we were having puppy fever because we were watching Beverly Hills Chihuahua. It's a really good movie. It's so cute. And, <laughs> and after that, I was I started looking at Chihuahuas to buy. But then I was like, okay, like let me forget about it. Let me not be... Kind of like irresponsible because we are traveling and stuff so it's like it's kind of yeah, crazy like too. you don't want to be impulsive you just want to yeah but then that's exactly what we went and did we're like okay where's the closest pet land oh it's right here and oh. you know our intentions weren't to buy a puppy you just wanted to have a look at puppies you know because like Audi said we had nothing to do after the cinema so we're like cool let's have a look at dogs let's see if they actually have any dogs there because in the uk you don't have a um like a pet store with loads of dogs and e even ones that you can like actually pet and sit with as well which this one did so like we were super excited when we got into the store we were like oh let me hold this one let me hold this one let me hold this one and we like that there were so many personalities with these dogs um but one really really stood out to us Monita. Monita! Hey, Princess Monita! Monita! And guys, we bought her in Mexico, you know, they speak Spanish over here, so it's only right to give her a Spanish name. So, guys, this is Monita. A few days ago is when she actually peed for the first time on her pee pad. She shot and she scored, baby. I'm gonna put a video right here of her peeing on her pee pad, which she was so excited about. Good evening, Monita. Monita! Good girl. Oh, you Good girl, Monita. <laughs> Monita, Monita peed on a pad. Yes. Come on. No, you don't want it? Okay, you don't want it? Then I'm not gonna force you. So the fact that she peed on her pee pad and she's not even potty trained is just amazing. And she's yeah. been shooting every time and scoring. And she's pooping on her pad, everything. I mean, she only missed twice. She doesn't like her bed that we got her. We didn't get like a really fancy bed because I was scared that she would pee in her bed and yeah. then we'd have to throw it away. And besides, she's a baby, so she actually doesn't like to sleep by herself. She's she literally sleeping in the bed. Yeah, she likes to sleep with us, and so she she cries all night long if we don't take her up into the bed. Yeah, we've had some uh, sleepless nights because we're, we're we're torn between should we discipline her, make her sleep in her bed, or should we you know bring her with us and let her feel that warmth that you know that's in this bed, let her cuddle up. Yeah, but when she's sleeping with us, she doesn't cry so we get to just sleep <laughs> yeah, literally we were waking up every hour because we're here i know i know yeah that's you that's you but the reason the title has to do with us being parents is because we literally are like honestly she's a baby so we have to make sure she's eating she's you know she's struggling to eat a little bit because she's just moved obviously so it's like she has to get used to the new environment and I'm not sure why she's not 100% eating, but it's that, it's making sure she's sleeping. Like there's just so much and she doesn't like to be alone. She likes to be with us at all times. She's constantly crying if we're not with her. Sometimes I know I need to like discipline her and like tell her like no or like stay here. But she's just so cute and I'm like, I want to scream at you, but I can't. How could you say no, Dominita? 
Manita. <laughs> oh, baby. Say hello to the camera. Say hello to DK family. DK family. Meet, meet, meet. Manita was born on the 1st of April, so that makes her... Almost three months. Almost three months, like two weeks and three... Two oh, sorry, weeks. two months and three weeks. It actually, yesterday she made 12 weeks on the dot. So she's 12 weeks and one day. Tomorrow we're gonna be taking her to the vet. We're gonna film the whole process. I'm super excited. Like I've had a dog before, but because I was so young, my mom was taking care of it and I didn't really have that much like interaction. I just like let it do its thing. Same. As a kid, if you've ever had a pet, mainly your parents look after the pet. You do a few things, maybe feed it here and there. But when it's yours and you have no one looking after it except from you and it's your responsibility, you truly do feel like a parent. Yeah. Like, I feel like a dad. Sometimes I'm like, like uh, when we first got it, I looked at Dante and I was like, oh my God, like we just got a dog. We just got a dog abroad. Like we're in Mexico. We just, are we crazy? Like was this like a very impulsive decision? Like, are we going to regret this? But I don't know. I just like, every time I look at her, I'm like, I can't regret it. Like, I yeah. just love you. I don't think I will regret it. Money is part of our family now and we're going to be bringing her back to the UK. She's going to be living with us for the rest of her life. So, you know. I hope that you love us, you know, and we picked a good home for you. Oh, she loves me, she loves me. But yeah, so some of the challenges that we're going to be facing, you know, whilst we're in Mexico and the transition over to the UK is um, training her, teaching her how to sit, all these type of things. I've never trained a dog before, so um, that's going to be something new for me. Have you trained like a dog before, like giving it commands and it's actually this? I trained my, my first dog. But... Okay, we've got experience here. Another challenge is actually going to be bringing her um to the uk so flying with her i've never flown with a pet before we've been flying for the past six to seven months um so this is just another challenge in itself you have to get her a little uh, i think it's a pet passport yeah so yeah we're going to be going to the vet tomorrow like Kali said bringing you guys along with us um just getting a normal checkup for her seeing if that if she needs another vaccine um he's going to try sort out a pet passport for her and everything just making sure she has all the documentations she's got her chip she's got everything like she's got two vaccines already she's got three vaccines already three. she needs two more yeah so but she's been too young so we've been waiting for her to get a bit older and stronger right baby and guys we're sorry we didn't post on thursday um you know we were, we were looking after manita and that was the first day that we uh, got her so um, it was just a bit rushed and we didn't want to like give you a half-hearted video So we just wanted to sit down with you today and actually tell you what's going on Now that Monita's sleeping, we're gonna let her sleep It's important that she gets her beauty sleep her Beauty sleep, because she is a princess <laughs> She's a princess, she's so beautiful Honestly, this is such an amazing thing that we've done And she's added so much happiness to her life already, already And it's yeah. only been like three days We can't wait to take you on the rest of our journey with us And the rest of Monita's journey can't wait to go through all the challenges together with you guys. If you love the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to press the notification bell so you keep helping us grow, you keep helping DK family grow. And I will be uh, creating a new Instagram for Manita as well, so make sure you guys watch out for that. I'll probably link it down below in the description. It will be made already by then. So we love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us on this journey. We'll see you tomorrow when we're bringing her to the vet. Hopefully everything's okay and that, you know, she's eating properly. I don't know what I'm doing See you guys later. <laughs>